the woman who was admired by Hitler, but chose Kennedy, the perfect Nordic beauty, was how Hitler described Ingar Vad. She mingled with Hermann Göring and Joseph Goebbels. She flirted with being a Nazi spy. She even had an affair with JFK. The FBI kept tabs on the couple. Let's see what made world leaders fall at Inga's feet. Ingar Vad hailed from Copenhagen. At age 16, she was crowned the beauty queen of Denmark. She was fluent in German, French, and English. Inga switched to Danish, only to hide what she was saying. She studied piano playing and journalism. At 17, she married Egyptian diplomat Kamal Abdel Nabi. The marriage broke down after two years. Then Inga landed a job for a top Danish paper. She was a stunning beauty with big blue eyes. This made her a popular high society figure. She repeatedly traveled to Germany. She mingled with high-ranking Nazi officials. Inga was the first to report that Hermann Göring was to marry Emmy Sonneman. She attended the wedding in 1935. She captivated not only Göring, but also Goebbels. They'd often chat about food and hobbies. Eventually, Inga scored an interview with Hitler. It was the first of several. Inga penned a flattering profile of the dictator. The eyes, showing a kind heart, stare right at you. They sparkle with force. Hitler was taken with the young reporter as well. He gave Inga an autographed picture of himself. To Inga Arvid, in friendly memory. He wrote, Hitler also invited her to his box at the 1936 Olympics. Eventually, Inga was approached with an offer. Would she spy for the Nazis? She knew refusal was not an option. So she and her second husband fled to Asia. She met and married Paul Feyos in 1935. He was a Hungarian-American director. He served as an officer and doctor during World War I. First, the couple traveled to the Malay Peninsula. In 1940, they moved to the U.S. The couple were friends with Axel Wenner-Gren. Wenner-Gren, in turn, had ties to Edward VIII. The Duke of Windsor was implicated as a Nazi sympathizer. Inga's own past Nazi connections soon came to light. The FBI started spying on her. They were convinced she was a German spy. Meanwhile, Inga started dating none other than JFK. Everyone thought it was a short-term fling. Jack's got a lot to learn, and I'll be happy to teach him. Inga said, but the affair soon became serious. JFK called his partner, Inga Binga. They knew they were being wiretapped. In the transcripts, they addressed whoever is listening. They even considered getting married. Kennedy asked a priest if Inga could annul her marriages, but the FBI believed she was using him to sneak into the Navy Department. Joseph Kennedy also disapproved of their affair. His son was transferred to a desk job in South Carolina. JFK and Inga broke up. When he was assassinated, she silently rose up from her chair, went into her bedroom, and shut the door. She stayed there crying for hours. Ingar Vad later married the actor Tim McCoy. She died of cancer 20 years after JFK.